The Maryland Piedmont Reliability Project is in its final steps before seeking mm -hmm. approval. It will build a 70 mile long transmission line across the state. Those behind it say it will bolster reliable energy, but people are not giving up their land without a fight. 11 News reporter Tommy Clark is in Carroll County where lines will cut through a family's horse farm if the proposal becomes reality. It was a gut punch. Six months ago, the Verts family found out a transmission line is set to cut through their 35 acre horse farm. They just can't come across people's property without their say. They need to have approval before these things are, are scheduled and, and paths are laid out. The 500,000 volt line will cross 70 miles of Baltimore, Carroll and Frederick counties. Named the Maryland Piedmont Reliability Project, it will start near the Pennsylvania border and end southeast of Frederick. The public service enterprise group behind it says it'll ensure reliability and affordability for Marylanders. Failure to respond to current grid congestion and they say people could soon see higher prices and potential for rolling blackouts. At public meetings, people have warned of environmental and agricultural impacts. PSEG says the new route addresses a lot of concerns they've heard from neighbors, but for the Rockland Breeze Farm in Westminster, it's still set to rip right through their pasture land just a couple hundred feet from their family home. Something needs to change. We've, we've got to stop this process. I've lived here for quite a while and just worked so terribly hard to get to this point in my life. This is where I want to be. I don't want to have to look for a new place. Jane Shaw has owned the land across the street for nearly 40 years. The proposal will also cut through her crops. They're one part of a much larger fight against this project. It was like, they can't do that. How, how is it possible that somebody can just put a tower through my property? But at the end of the day, the hurt's still there. The frustration's still there. And I don't, I have a voice, but is it really being heard? In Carroll County, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News. Meantime, right now in Baltimore County, the council is about to vote on a resolution in opposition to this project. Maryland residents will have a chance to again share opinions on the route in November. You can find meeting locations and times on the WBAL TV app. PSEG hopes to submit its final plan by the end of 2024 and to be up and running by June of 2026.